When you install Music One version 7 Professional or Music One SE, you'll have a Music One icon on your desktop, and that's how you'll start it. But before you get into it, I want to show you one thing. Let's go to the C drive where Music One is installed. There's my Music One installation, and I also have a Music One SE installation. Uh, I'm going to open the Music One. And in either one of them, you're going to have a new and empty library file. In Music One version 7 Professional, it's named Music One Library.m1. In the SE version, it's a slightly different name. I think it's Music One SE Library or maybe New Music One SE Library. Anyway, for some testing, copy this file and paste it. Uh, copy and paste. And now I'm going to give this my own name. And I'll just name this uh, 1-Steve-P1 for Playout 1. That's a library that I'm going to experiment with. Uh, you might want to try this first. Uh, you can use your experimental library as your real library if you uh, decide to go ahead and license Music 1 and buy it. But uh, that's the file that will contain all of your Music 1 data. You'll want to back up that file at least once a week, get it off your hard drive, so if something goes wrong with your computer, you could quickly install Music One on another machine, move that file into the Music One folder on the new machine, and be back up and running in short order. All right, let's start Music One for the first time, and there is my Music One Steve P1. You're going to be doing this. Open up the library file. It will open to the Tracks button, probably. We are going to open System and go to System Settings and click on the Automation tab. The Automation tab is where you tell Music One that it's going to be linked to the Playout One automation system. So scroll down, select Playout One in the automation format. And this is important. In the date format, you have to change this to be year, 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 MMDD. That's four Ys, two Ms, two Ds. Now click OK. Click to the Tracks button. Music One is going to ask to locate your Playout One database. That will be in the Playout One folder, in the Data folder, and there it is named audio.mdb. Click Open. And now Music One knows where to look to find the data from Playout One. Open the Import menu and select Import from Playout One. Music One will scan the Playout One database and import all of the songs and tracks. And there's the ones that I have in so far. I've got about 500 songs in my Playout One database at this point. And under New Tracks, I have 70 uh, voice tracks, some promos, liners, things that I've pre-recorded. Uh, the parsing will take place. Music One will try to make sure that the non-music items come in as non-music tracks and the music items come in as music tracks. Now, after you've done this import, you'll begin creating your own categories within Music One. Remember, the Music One categories are not related to the categories that you'll find in Playout One. The Playout One categories are used only by Playout One when it is in its auto DJ mode. You can have categories of the same name both in Music One and Playout One if you want to, but Music One is not going to use the category information from Playout One. You'll create categories in Music One, drag your songs into your categories in Music One, and do your scheduling that way. Go to the Music One website, which is gomusicone.com, or the Music One blog, which is musicone.pro. Both of those sites have a lot of videos about how to create categories, create format clocks, and all of the various things that you'll need to do with Music One before you begin your scheduling.